Hi folks, I'm doing a bit of work to Sharon's uh, Dastra, Dastra. <laughs> Sharon's Astra console, centre console. I'm changing the colour of it because that original colour was horrible and all scratched. Let's see how far I've got with it so far. Right, well, I don't know whether you remember or not, but this original centre console, this isn't the actual one that's in Sharon's car, this is a spare one, which we got when we went to the breakers yard that time. And um, it had this horrible sort of silver type paint on it, and you can run your fingernails down, it, it'll scratch off, and all around where the radio was, obviously where people have tried to pry the radio in and out, it was all scratched and marked and all that, and it just didn't look very nice at all, so... Um, I thought I'd take it off and spray out the uh, actual same body colour as the car. I've still got some of that paint left over, which is the uh, Silver Sunlight water based base coat from when we done the um, Ermsha. It is Ermsha, by the way. Someone told me off for saying Ermsha the other day. Uh, it's an Ermsha grill at the bottom of the, uh, the splitter, I think it's called, on the bottom of the front bumper, so we painted that in. And uh, yeah, so I started preparing these and it was a devil's own job trying to get it off. I tried scraping it off, because you could scrape it off with your fingernails. I thought I'd get a blade and start scraping it off, but that was just so much hassle, especially doing the bit like this. So I decided to get a bit of uh, my power strip paint stripper and um, I put a little dab on the corner of this, this bit, for example, to see if there was any reaction. And then there wasn't re any reaction, so I painted the uh, paint strip all over that and Love, lucky enough it come up lovely so I then started coating all the rest of this with the paint stripper most of what you see here is the original bits but there's a couple of bits which ain't original because for some reason you'd think all this trim was all the same plastic but it's not the ashtray isn't the same trim and um, this one for example isn't the same trim I'll show you the originals after the paint stripper went on it let me show you here we go I don't know if you can actually get a good look at that the, this is the the uh, the first one I've done with the paint stripper, and as you can see, when I started scraping it off, all the plastic was melted. Look, and I thought to myself, "Oh my God, there's no way I can uh, get that back." So that happened to that bit, <laughs> and also the ashtray there, as you can see. Look at look at it; they even cracked it. Look, can you see all the reaction that's happened there? Look, that was unbelievable. Now these things can be quite expensive to buy if you try to buy them individually. That's, that's twenty quid. The whole set, for example, could cost a whole lot more money. I didn't need the whole set, as I said to you. So, But one of the other bits which I did need was this bit here. Now, this bit went exactly the same as this. But do you think I could find one of these on um, eBay? No, this is the surround for the cigarette lighter. It just clips in. So this melted the same way as this. All like that it went, exactly the same. But I was lucky enough that I've, I started filling this. And I've done some repairs to it. And as you can see, I think I've gotten away with it. I've just got to give it a little bit of a primer now. You can see where I've had to put the filler in there. Underneath there and all around the edge there, for example, was all sort of just like this. <laughs> so, yeah, just be very careful when you're using paint stripper on plastics. They normally... Oh, here we go. Yeah, it says on the back of this one, actually. It says this one's ABS plastic. This is the one that actually went... Uh, what's this one? Does it say, what's this say on the back of this one? Because this one was all right. See, this one doesn't say ABS on the back of it. So that is a different type of plastic. But this one does say ABS. That one says ABS. So it just shows you they have used different types of plastic there. So just be very careful. I did have a word with Jimmy afterwards and he said what he would have done, he would have uh, put thinners on it and used a Scotch Bright pad and got it off that way. You, you got a lot more control that way. So as I say, I eventually got it all off uh, with a combination of sanding and scraping. And um, I've primed it with green TI primer now and uh, sanded it down to 500 grit now. So these are basically all ready. Let me show you the finish we got now. So as you can see, it's lovely and smooth now, and it's all in green, green TI primer, waiting for its uh, first coat of base coat. So that's what I'm gonna be doing shortly. But I've just got to give this a quick coat of, um, I've just got this sort of high build primer here, so I'm gonna use a bit of that and dry it with a heat gun just to get it off dry quick. And then as I say, we'll set the spray gun up and we'll put this uh, ready-made base coat, which is the, the Star Silver Sunlight water-based base coat, and then it will have a top coat of um, 2K lacquer. You could use rattle can lacquer, but you get such, such a superior hard 
wearing surface with the uh, 2K lacquer. That's what I'm going to go for. So let's just give this a quick coat and I'll be back with you. Right, okay, so this is just a grey high build primer there in a rattle can. Not ideal, but it's, uh, it should do the job. And all I'm going to basically do is just to... I have wiped it down with a wax and grease remover or panel degreaser. Just a few light coats. Right, that's why I'm just going to dry that off now. Right, okay then, so we're back now. I've now prepared this, although it's a different grey, I'm hoping it's not going to matter too much. I will be giving it a couple of coats or three coats or something, so... Uh, Hopefully it'll cover all right. Anyway, so I've got my gun here now. This is my Devilbis SRI Pro. Uh, this has got a one mil tip on it and it's a smart repair gun basically. And uh, I'm gonna be spraying it two bar, which is about 28 PSI. I'll just put my paint in there. Let's put my lid on. And all I'm gonna be doing is like giving it a little dusting first of all. So. I'm not going to have this full spray. I've already set that to just under two bar. And I'm not going to have, as I say, a full spray. Let me just go that way. So the fan spray, I'm going to drop down about three quarters. So it's, it's a lot narrower. So I'll be giving sort of small light coats basically. So. Right, I've laid these out here. I'm just gonna give these a coat now and I'll put you on a bit of time, that's for that. Right, folks, it's been uh, 30 minutes now. They've both had two, or they've all had two coats of uh, base coat, which is a water-based base coat. And what I'm gonna do now is apply the clear coat on top now. They've been wiped down with a attack rag, so there's no dust on them or anything. Let's just show you how they, how they look. So as you can see, they give that matte finish look once they've been um, base coated with a water-based base coat. And uh, it all looks all right. I'm happy with the results so far. And the same with all the other panels, they're all the same. So we're looking good. So what I'm gonna do now is obviously give them all the clear coat now. I'm gonna give them two coats of clear. One sort of light dusting coat and the next one will be to give it sort of a nice gloss. So there we go, we're looking okay there. There you go. Got all in the little awkward bits of getting in these sort of things, but uh, and all around the clock, binnacle, the inside edges sort of thing. So you have gotta make sure you get all them in. Right, okay. So I'm gonna be using, again, the same spray gun. This time, 
It's a 2K lacquer. I've got a Maximia lacquer here. Mixed at a two to one, two parts of the actual lacquer and one part of the hardener. And this stuff is very toxic, so you want to get a decent mask or an air fed mask or whatever. I've got this full face apparatus which has got uh, vapor filters on it. So let me whack this on. I'm keeping the same spray pattern. I haven't changed any other settings on the gun, so I'm going to be spraying exactly the same way. Right folks, I'm going to leave these as they are for now. Um, they've had two coats and I'm happy with the results. A little bit of dust in them here and there, but look at the environment I'm working in. You could always buff them out and polish them out if you wanted to, but um, I'm quite happy leaving them as, as they probably are. I don't think they need buffing out. Anyway, so that's it. I'm going to leave it there for now. I've just got one thing to do. I've got this um, sticker here from Alan Dixon, 88. He's been on at me for ages to put it up on the Wall of Fame. One trouble I've got, Alan, is it's a white sticker on a white background. So I might have to put yours on the window frame, or not the window frame, the, the actual wood part so we can see it. But it's um, a vinyl sticker. So let's have a go at this on the wood there. If it will stick on that, I'm not sure. Make sure it sticks underneath that uh, carrier sheet. There we go. I hope that's going to be all right. There we go. You made it. You made it onto the door of frame of fame. <laughs> There we go, there's Alan Dixon, that's his Instagram uh, logo there, I would imagine, so that would be at Alan Dixon 88 If anyone's interested, there's the rest of you. If you recognise your sticker, I'll give you a little squirt around there so you can see everybody that's on there at the moment. And uh, if you want to have a look at any of them channels, just check them out. Right, so I think I'm going to leave it there, folks. I'm really happy with the results of this. Let me just show you, there's the gear surround, look. Got a nice old gloss on it, as you can probably see there. Look, can you see that? And I don't think you need to buff and polish that, I think it'll be all right tomorrow. That'll be absolutely rock hard. It's near I've gone off now, to be honest with you. But you don't want to obviously put your fingers all over it because uh, you will get fingerprints on it. And I think you'd agree that that one turned out a lot better <laughs> than that one. So, moral of the story is. Check the plastic, what you're putting paint stripper on before you do it, and it doesn't like ABS plastic by the looks of it. So there you go. Happy days. So thanks very much, folks. Don't forget, I've got the uh, motorbike videos going to be coming up on my Retro Hacks channel. That's the bike restorations now, the place for the bike restorations. You can probably notice that I've not uploaded anything to Butler's Empire for a while. Uh, we're going to probably do that start doing that again very shortly anyway so keep your eyes out for some butler's empire videos i've just had to take a bit of a break because i mean i'm, I'm sort of videoing all the time basically on you never get any sort of rest basically you know so uh, i've just taken a little bit of a break and maybe we can jump start the subs going up again because that's as i said that's gone static for some reason over or mostly most of this year to be honest with you Anyway, thanks very much, folks. Don't forget, folks, hit the subscribe button down there. Ring the notification bell and set your preferences to all. That way you'll get notified every time 
we upload a video you'll probably get a little notification or something like that thanks very much folks i'll see you in the next video and until then bye for now